everyone, as I said, I wanted to discuss in this video the differences between a manager and an individual contributor. I made a video, I can't remember when, about this same topic, but I think that definitely things have changed and so I wanted to create a more updated video, especially the fact that I'm actually thinking of making that shift in some ways or some aspects of doing more con individual contributor type of work. So I wanted to share that with you because I know that there have been a bunch of layoffs. This is definitely uncertain times, so people probably are thinking of this as well. So I wanted to discuss that and also get your thoughts on that. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna start working on this video because I hate when the intros are way too damn long. Okay, switching the way the camera is facing because I know last time I was facing the other way and the video looked kind of gross. So I wanted to discuss what a project manager does. The a project manager's role is basically the client facing role. Anything goes wrong, any updates, anything having to do with the project, you're the one that the clients will be going to. The same thing with your internal team. Any issues, and it doesn't just have to be about the project. They can't access their timesheet. They're having some concerns about this. Oh, there's a benefit that they're really not happy with. You're the one that they're going to come to. So you basically have to be very people focused. You are going to have a lot of different groups coming to you, whether it be pleasant, whether or not, you're the one that's gonna to have to deal with it. On top of it, you're the one that's going to be dealing with the financials of the system, very data-driven nowadays. You're gonna be doing analysis, dashboards of that, as well as your team, trying to grow the team, if you have to reduce the team, you're going to have to deal with a lot of that. It can be stressful at times. This is someone who's doing it now because you are the one that is the face of the project and as well as you're there to make sure your team is okay. If they're not okay, you're the one that has to stress to make sure that you're able to deal with anything that they're dealing with. Or if let's say something happens to the project, you're the one that has to figure things out basically. So there is a lot of things that project managers have to deal with that you wouldn't have to deal with as an individual contributor. The good thing about being a project manager that I think it's a good thing is, and this is my experience, other people might have other lists, but I think a good thing is the fact that you are there for your team. I love the fact that I'm able to talk with my team and help them in any way that they need, as well as my clients. I'm the one that is able to talk at a high level of the different solutions that we can provide, try to help them if they're they're having issues with anything. Maybe I'm crazy, but I love road mapping as well. I love the fact that someone tells me like, hey, we need this solution. When can it get done? And then we have a bunch of other things that we're working on and I can put it in a, a roadmap and extend it to a year or so. I, I don't know, I just love doing that kind of stuff. And so those are the things that you really have to think about when you're in management is the fact that you are the one who is in front of everything. And a good manager isn't a manager, they're also a leader. So that's the other thing as well. There are some pretty crappy managers out there and it's because they got promoted up, someone liked them and gave them the role. You don't wanna be those type of managers. You wanna be a good one, someone who people feel is there for them, the good and the bad. You're there for your team and you're there to also help the organization as a whole. So that's something you really have to think about if you wanna do in your career is do you want to take that responsibility because it is a lot of responsibility and so you really have to think about that. So that is what you would be doing if you go the management route. An individual contributor. So usually an individual contributor is an expert in something. So in my case, because I'm in IT, I someone who's good in data, like a data architect, cloud architect, cloud engineer, 
software engineer. Like they are working on a special group of skills. Depending on the person, it can be something that you don't really have a say in the work as much. Maybe if you get to like the architect level, you can, but usually like be, uh, uh, if you're just an individual contributor, someone else is giving you the task. You can provide feedback like on things or provide your feedback, but at the end of the day, you're not the one making the decision on that. So that's the only thing about an individual contributor, but you are able to carve, I guess, an area which you are very passionate about, something that makes you want to go to work. The other thing too is you don't have to go to the thousand meetings that a project manager has to go to because they're dealing with that. You basically can work and just deliver according to deadlines. The other thing too is the fact that you have your manager who is dealing with all the crap so you don't have to deal with all the stuff coming from the company and from your clients. You don't have to deal with that because your manager is basically shielding you from that. When you do get higher in your career, yeah, you will probably have to deal with it in some ways, but not as much. So it's actually something that if you're someone who doesn't see yourself dealing with people and especially their careers, you don't want to deal with meetings, you just want to work on what you're passionate about, that's what would be good for someone who wants to be an individual contributor. Now, if you want to do both, then that's where kind of like a hybrid type thing happens is when you get to the senior level role, you can sometimes start leading people. So you kind of become like a pseudo manager. You're still able to work on what your skills that you have acquired and you were hired for are able to do. So that is something that if you wanted to mix the two, you could eventually become an architect and then you're able to have the management and as well as do your individual contributor. The good thing is about being an architect, oh, you see my dog in the background, but a good thing about being an architect is the fact that you still have your manager that still can deal with the BS of the other stuff, so you don't have to worry about that. So that is where I think you can find like the sweet spot is when you become an architect level, senior level role, you A, make have a good income, can still do what you're passionate about, and as well as you're able to lead people without dealing with the additional stuff that a manager has to deal with. When you're kind of trying to figure out what you want to do with your career, where you want it to go, you want to start thinking about your personality. What is it you really love to do? You can also start thinking about just pros and cons of each one. I'm always someone who advocates for pros and cons lists. They are so helpful. Create one. And everything has a pro and con. So you really have to decide what you can really deal with. So that's something that I would do. And you can take some quizzes to see exactly where you fit in. The personality types quizzes, those are actually really good. There's a bunch of different types. Don't just rely on the Myers-Briggs, but do a personality quiz. They can sometimes tell you what job role makes sense for you and that can help you as well. So yeah, so that's just my take on the whole project manager versus individual contributor. At the end of the day, you can decide either or or create a hybrid version, especially if you're in a senior level. So that is a way to get the best of both worlds. But let me know what you're doing, what you want to do. Oh, the one thing I forgot to say is that because I do want to get to that hybrid level, I am starting to really delve into cloud technologies and as well as the tools within them, mainly in Azure. So that is something that in the future I do want to discuss as well and probably share like many projects that I'm working on. I'm trying to get into GitHub to start like documenting what I'm working on and I will share and hopefully you will find that useful as well. So I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.